Hey everybody, it's League of Logs here with the second video about the rule changes for the uh, Bunch of Nerds Summer Split. So, there has been a couple of rule changes uh, that I have deemed necessary whenever I was running into some issues, whenever uh, we were trying to find people and such. So, I just want to do this to clear up some stuff. So, the new rules are highlighted. Uh, to begin, the top six teams will go to the playoffs instead of the top four, like it was. And uh, the regular season will last 10 weeks instead of 7. This is because we are doing 3 days a week instead of 4. That way everybody still has the opportunity to do Clash and any other weekend tournaments that they would want to do. So how the playoffs will work is the top 6 teams at the end of the regular seasons will be in the playoffs. They will last 3 weeks and it will be a single elimination best of 5 series for the playoffs. The first and second seed will get a first round bye which will put them straight in semifinals. I'll put a picture of what that bracket will look up, look, look like right here. Okay. Uh, the roster deadline. All teams must have a started must have a starting five registered two days before the first game. Everybody has done that. There are no issues there. The team can add subs up to the limit of three subs until week six. Once all the rosters are locked, there will be no more subs being able to be added. I believe six weeks is plenty of time for everybody to have everything set in stone and to know what to do. Uh, going down to the match procedure. I've changed the rescheduling rules a bit to add for more flexibility because I understand that life happens a lot. And it can be pretty difficult to try to make your entire life revolve around this kind of small tournament. So, the rule now states you are able to reschedule any game if a teammate is unable to play and your team has no subs. You may only one... You may only reschedule a game once. For example, if you if you reschedule your team's first game once and move it to a new date, you are not able to change that date again. Both teams must agree on a date and time to reschedule the game. This way, it works out for everybody. Side selection. I touched on this briefly in the how to set up the game video, which will be linked below. Uh, the home team, which... The home team, for future reference, will always be posted on the left. On the left, whenever I post uh, the matchups for the week. So, for example, this week, if you would go to the server and you go to Summer Split Schedule, every single team on the left, which is Equinox, Atua, Floki, I butchered that name, I'm sorry, and Tybot Squad, those are all the home teams, they will get first side selection. Everybody should get an equal number of games where they are home team. Uh, the only champion that we have disabled is Viego. This is done only because this is the most buggy mess of a champion Riot has ever released. And us being an extremely small tournament, we do not have access to Chrono Break or anything that will potentially change a game if a game changing bug were to happen. This is kind of this is also just kind of a thing of well that leads down to three point thirteen. If a bug occur if a bug occurs there's nothing we can do about it. I'm hoping not having Viego in the game will make it to where there's less bugs, but Riot has some super super duper spaghetti code right now and it's awful. Pausing rules. In the tournament draft um, setting, I guess you would call it, each team, both teams combined have 30 minutes of pause time that's used between both of them. You are allowed to pause if a proper a proper reason occurs. Uh, for example, uh, one, someone disconnected uh, has, is having Wi-Fi issues, hardware issues, need to restore a PC, that's all, that's all good. Uh, if a glitch happens and you just kind of need a break to realize, wow, that just happened, it's fine. Just tell us why, you're, just give us a reason why you are pausing. For the player eligibility, all players must fall between Iron 4, 0 LP, and Gold 1, 100 LP. Uh, there are no patch rank requirements. The ones that I had put in place were pretty restricting, and I do apologize for any confusion I brought with those rules. Now, for the last rule change, uh, is rank climbing after the season starts. If a player happens to go over gold 1, 100 LP, they will not be removed from the summer split. 
this is a league that is based upon improving as a player and improving as a team. I do not want to limit anyone from being able to grind and reach their true rank by them playing this split and having 10 weeks to not be able to play solo queue or flex, even though there's no restrictions to flex. But yeah, yeah, guys, if you have any questions, just let me know. DM me on Discord. You guys know how to get to me. Uh, if anything else needs to be clarified, just let me know and I'll do my best to make it all crystal clear. Alright, see you guys.